everyone. <laughs> 30 degrees. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> the beginning mileage is 40438.6. 4043.8.6 Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome to another Polar Bear Challenge ride. Yet again, one more. Uh, yesterday, uh, out through a bunch of mud roads, dirt roads, gravel roads, crap roads, grassy roads. <laughs> Uh, out, I was totally lost uh, in Harrison County, I think, most of the time. Uh, so, so many Amish people out there. All the Amish homes and the buggies and everything. I thought, oh, you know what I ought to do? It's not everybody gets to see that stuff every day. I ought to go out there and give them a tour of Amish Harrison County. And, uh, I never made it that far, so my ride won't be as long as I meant it to be, that, but uh, we're getting these blizzard warnings coming in. That, uh, I don't know if they're founded or unfounded, but I wanted to give uh, G9 a video answer or whatever, video response. Of course, that doesn't work the way it used to, but ah, what the hell, do you really love your job or you know, would you do it if you didn't get paid? Where's my answer to my job, the one I currently have? Fuck no, if they didn't pay me, I wouldn't be doing it. Hell no. I got better things to do with my time and sit around a fucking water plant and watch gauges and dials and carry fucking lime and carbon around and be a, be a dirty mess by the end of my shift. Running lab, I hate running lab. You know why? The running laboratory is like cooking. It's just like cooking, only at the end you don't get to eat. You just clean up. <laughs> that sucks, man. So, uh, I mean, I don't have a hard job, and I, I would, I have, I have said I loved my job before, but mainly just because I've had many, many, a lot worse jobs, you know. And you asked about, uh, what was it, like, perfect job, or what job would you love? I, I think I've basically tried every, almost every dream job I've ever thought of, and they've always kind of disappointed me. So I can't tell you what my dream job would be, I, unless I have one more job I think I'd really like to do, and that would be mattress tester for Sealy Posturepedic mattresses or any other mattresses, sleep number or whatever, I don't care, just a mattress tester. My job would be to go to work, um, probably, you know, work third shift, be at work at nine or 10 o'clock. My job would be to uh, lay down on a mattress, you know, with state-of-the-art pillow and, <laughs> and blankets and sleep for, you know, all six to eight hours. Uh, probably, you know, seven and a half, that gives me time for my paperwork, where I get up and I write down how I felt when I got up. I, <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good mattress, and I just loved it. I've had several jobs that I thought would be my dream job. Oh good, I think the cop turned off. And it turned out that once, you know, they were things I loved to do, like uh, getting played, or getting played, playing, like playing the guitar. Loved and loved to play the guitar, you know, loved music. And I actually landed um, a couple of different jobs, uh, like one was teaching, and another one was actually playing in a band. I'd, I'd been in a few bands, but I actually got in one band that it was profitable, and we made pretty damn good money, but, you know what, I I didn't like it. And it always seemed like, you know, I'd like it at first, and then after a few months it got old, it get old fast. And it always seems like it's at that point where you start making money that you don't like to do it anymore. Before I ever got made a penny off of electronics, I'd taken three electronic courses. Uh, I, I, first one, I was uh, still in high school, uh, senior year. I took uh, basic electronics 
tours from uh, Radio Shack. Uh, I think I was 20, 21 maybe, when I went to Sally Struthers, remember ICS, International Correspondence Schools, took electronic technology, um, loved it, had a great time, learned a lot of stuff. A couple of years later, I took uh, electronics engineering at Ohio State. Uh, again, uh, I loved it. I uh, really loved analog electronics because uh, I'm just kind of an old school guy and uh, everything today is digital, so that was what I did in the basement. Built a lot of analog uh, circuits and stuff and uh, just anything I could think of, you know. And uh, the opportunity presented itself to go into a partnership uh, for a controls company, which we would be doing electronics for uh, cities and, and towns and counties. But after about a year, uh, I just kind of folded and gave my partner my half and said, I don't want to do it no more. Well, stupid, maybe, I don't know. He ended up making a hell of a lot of money. But, uh, oh well. Uh, then, uh, then I got a job repairing guitar amplifiers, PV and crate. Uh, of course, I'd repair anything as long as it wasn't under warranty. I'd repair anything else. Uh, worked on Marshalls, Fenders, <laughs> a little amp called uh, Gorilla, um, you name it, High Watts. Uh, loved it, but only for about, no, about a year again. And, you know, of course, I can't blame it on the fact that it's making money. You know, uh, musicians are eccentric people, and uh, <laughs> uh, that's putting it mildly. And some of them are kind of hard to get along with. So it's probably just the fact of maybe having a boss or working with the public. That's probably what I don't like. But to me, I always associate it with having a paying job. Anytime I start making money at doing it, I always seem to hate it. I want to be a mattress tester. If anybody out there knows how I can get into a job like that, I, I, anybody can help me find that job. That job, I, I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks, G9, for giving me something to talk about. Ending mileage is 40556.4. That would be, again, 40556.4. Thanks for watching.